Rogers Show, starring Roy Rogers, King of the Cowboys, Trigger, his golden palomino, and Dale Evans, Queen of the West, with Pat Brady, his comical sidekick, and Roy's wonder dog, Bullet. Hurry up, Mark, here comes the train. Hold your horses. This contraption's got to be fixed right. Well, you're all thumbs. Shut up or do it yourself. Now. $50,000. That'll keep us in groceries for a while. We'll quit counting it and let's hide it. Somebody's liable to come through that front entrance. Seems a shame to hide all that beautiful money. Well, don't forget, it ain't all ours. And it looked like that dynamite was planted to blow up the mail car. Yeah, and quite a few people were hurt, too. Well, Sheriff, is there anything I can do to help? Well, yes, Roy. I'll make you a deputy. You can help with the investigation. All right. I got you as soon as I could, Sheriff. Oh, hello, Tom. This is the engineer of the wrecked train. Right. Yeah. Now, that money that was stolen on the mail train was consigned to Tom's bank. Yes, and if I don't get that money back, I'll have to close the doors. There'll be a run on the bank. Oh, I don't think so, Tom. Everybody in town knows you're a square shooter. Thank you, Roy. But people are mighty funny about money. You know, that's your trouble, Tom. For a banker, you're much too soft-hearted. Well, I, I can't turn my friends out of their ranches and homes. Hey, Roy! Bullet just found that dynamite thing in the jig. Well, Sheriff, we better go out and take a look at it. We certainly had. Nice going, Bullet. Sometimes you act like you're part bloodhound. Well, the wire trail's right off towards the tracks. Yeah. yeah those bandits certainly knew their business. They waited till that mail train was right over the dynamite and blew it to smithereens. I better have Pat take this back to town. I'll need it for evidence. All right. Take Bullet with you, Pat. Right. Come on, Bullet. Bill, let's snoop around here and see what we can find. Yeah. disappear in the thin air. I figured they had to have a hideout near the track someplace. Why do you say that? Because this was a well-planned job. Lugging that dynamite to the tracks and planting it and waiting for the train carrying the money, they had to wait someplace nearby. See, how do you suppose they knew which train was carrying the money? They had information from a good source. In Mineral City? And I wouldn't be surprised. Well, let's ride around this area and see if we can pick up any more clues. There's that old abandoned mine, Roy. That might make a good hideout. Let's have a look. There's not a soul around. That's right. Spook. Spooks can't hurt you. Let's take a look. Judging from these ashes here, the pots and the pans and the tin candles just a couple of days ago, Roy. Hey, look at this. Kettle saw. Maybe some wandering cow hand was staying here. Yeah, but a wandering cow hand wouldn't have any use for this. Hey, that's the kind of wire they use for that dynamite, Roy. It sure is. I believe this is their hideout. We better get the sheriff out here soon. Hey, there's somebody at the mine. Yeah, let's see who it is.
go. Looks like they circled back to the mine, Roy. Come on. Take it easy. They just seem to disappear right into the ground. Well, they must have another trick hideout someplace. Yeah, but where? I don't know, but I'll bet you it's somewhere close around this mine. Well, we just won't get back to town. We've got some evidence to go on anyway. Yeah. Okay, they're gone. Come on, we'll go in the mine and take a look at that arm. Let's not forget the evidence. Yeah. Bob. Hi, Ned. Hello, Roy. Say, so you don't by any chance happen to sell this type cattle salt, do you? Just a minute, boys. I'll look and see. What are you doing? Remember that gal I met at the square dance that time? Well, she promised to write me a letter, and I haven't received one yet. <laughs> Maybe that's because you told her you were going to star in a rodeo opening in Oklahoma City next week. Well, Roy, I didn't think she'd believe that bunch of lies I was telling her about me being a big rodeo star. Shuck. There you are. That's the kind of salt I sell. Yours has more sulfur in it. You see, not the same kind at all. No, it isn't. Have you got any idea where they sell this type of salt? Might be any place between Kansas and California. Oh, that's a passel of territory. Sure is. We better start covering some of it. Well, thanks a lot, Ned. Sure, Roy. Right. Pat, you better take half of this. We'll divide up the ranches in this territory and see if any of them use this kind of salt. Bullet, you better go along with... Come on, get in there. Go along with Uncle Pat. In case the Jeep breaks down, he might need you. I'll have you know this Jeep runs like a top. Well, if it does break down, make Bullet get out and push. <laughs> well, it looks like the salt I use in those licks of mine. Uh, need that sulfur for that new herd I've got. Ned Harrison orders the salt for me. Do you recognize this? Well, yes, I do. Belonged to a cowhand I had here some time back, a fellow by the name of Mark Bender. Had a pal with him called Gil something, uh, Bruce, I think. Both of them run out on me all of a sudden. You know where they went? No, I don't. Uh, maybe some of the hands do. Let's go over to the bunkhouse. All right. Come on, through. All right, get out. stopping me for. I ain't got a stand. No, but you got something else we want. Get out. Go get Roy, bullet. <coughs> hey, the dog's getting away. <coughs> ain't nothing gonna stop that dog. Where's that hunk of salt? got the other half. I ain't talking. You don't have to talk. We know who's got it. Roy Rogers. All right, we'll go find him. Yeah, you might need these. know who those outlaws are and what they look like. I'm glad to help. I didn't like those two fellows anyhow. So long. <laughs> 
That ought to be good as new, Bullet. Better than ever. Well, it's about time. Boy, have I got trouble. What's the matter? Oh, them two outlaws stopped me and took my half the salt, and then they crippled Nellie Bell. And... By the way, where were you? I sent Bullet to fetch you. And we caught up with them, too. Now we know who those outlaws are. But I wonder how they found out we had the salt. Yeah. How did they know? There's only one way they could find out. Somebody told them. And it could have been Ned Harrison. See, he lied to us about the salt. Come to think of it, Roy, Ned Harrison would know about that shipment, too. He makes regular deposits in the bank. Better than that, he handles the mail for the bank. Do you think he dare open the mail? Why, that's a government offense. Well, there's only one way to find out about that, and about the salt he claims he doesn't have. How? Take a good look for ourselves. Excuse us, Dale. two doing here? I thought you were robbers. You believe in shooting first and asking questions later, huh? Well, wouldn't you if somebody broke into your store? I guess you're right, but what about this? It's the same kind of salt we asked you about this afternoon. Well, I suppose it is. I can't remember all my stock. That's a box of salt I forgot about. I'll take this piece to the sheriff in case he wants to take a look at it. Come on, Pat. Oh, it's the same salt, all right. It looks the same, and, and it tastes the same. Well, then it's evidence, and you can arrest Ned. Well, wait a minute, Pat. It's evidence, all right, but we haven't shown any contact between Ned and the outlaws. Yeah, Roy's right. The salt alone wouldn't stand up in court. We've got to show that Ned and the outlaws are in cahoots, and show it plain. Well, how are you going to do that? Ned's too smart to contact them outlaws. He's got to do it sometime. I think I've got a plan that will hurry him up. Pat, how are you? Hi, Ned. How about a can of saddle soap? Sure. Hey, did you hear the news about those outlaws that blew up the train? Nope. They've been spending that stolen money over in Colville. Some of the bills showed up at the saloon. That's right. Yeah, you know, the bank and the sheriff both have the serial numbers of that money. And the sheriff is really laying for them if they go back over there. 
Well, I hope they catch him. And here you are. Thanks a lot. So long, Roy. deputies and follow me, but not too close. I got you. Like they're heading for that abandoned mine. Keep that Jeep quiet. Well, they'll hear us coming for miles. Well, I don't know what could have come over it. Nellie Bell, don't let me down on a time like this. Quiet, quiet. I'm sorry, Pat, but I'm going to have to leave you. Oh, oh Sheriff, don't, don't leave me. The last time I was left, I was held up. I know, but you can't ask us to wait around while you try to fix that contraption. Sheriff, just let me try one more time. I'm sorry, Pat. Come on, man. Nellie Bell, you temperamental female. <laughs> Darren always missing out on all the fun. You think I am? Well, Trigger, so that's where they disappeared, too. even been near Colville. That's what he told me. Well, if you don't believe me, why don't you count the money? It's all there, every penny of it. We've been waiting for you to settle up so we can get out of here. We don't like this waiting around. Rogers is getting pretty close, too close to suit me. Why would he give me this cock and bull story about this money turning up? Can't you figure it out? He probably suspects you. Or maybe he even followed you here to the hideout. Yeah, that's the way I got it figured. Well, let's count up and get out of here the back way. Let's take care of Rogers first. Gil, you go to the mouth of mine. Us pretty horses.
looks like we got here just in time. Those shots came from the old mine tunnel. Come on. Clark. Sheriff, a couple of deputies are out there. Come on, let's get out the back way. We can't. Rogers is there. Grab some of that dynamite. We'll give that sheriff a real reception. picking up that money and put it back in the mail sack. While you're doing it, you better count it, because you'll get a year for every bill. starting the proceedings. Now, Dale, if you just pour Roy a cup of coffee, we'll have the mortgage burning ceremony. You don't have to do that, Tom. Well, there was a reward out for that stolen money. And by a strange coincidence, it came to the amount of the loan Dale got from the bank to open the restaurant. Yeah, but if Dale doesn't... Oh, now, just a minute. Any time a banker wants to burn a mortgage, why, just don't ever argue with him. <clears throat> Pat! Tom, seeing as how you're in such a generous mood, how about me making arrangements for a loan? And what have you got to put up for security on that loan? Well, right there, my Nelly Bell. Of course, she needs a paint job bad, and I just haven't got the money right now. Of course, I could give you a mortgage on her. I'm afraid the bank would never consider a mortgage on that overgrown scooter out there. Overgrown scooter? Well, now, just a cotton pick a minute, boy. How have you know that that Jeep's been in four wars? She's been on four continents and she's got more medals than a, than a, a pawn shop. And furthermore, she's a temperament. Happy trails to you, keep smiling until then, happy trails.